Hey guys, so I drew this picture of my friend um, Maggie and now I'm going to outline it. Uh, whew. I'm super like all over the place today. So just going to do So um, I drew her with this cute cat hat because she wanted drawing like this. And I think I will give this to her for Christmas. Um, this season of year is actually very shaky and rocky. Um, what I mean by that is like, cause you go to church and everyone is feeling it and basically shaky, it's like your faith kind of wavers around and you're like trying to hold on to God and you're like, oh, everything is so complicated and you start thinking, how, how, like, I want the shakiness to end, but it's so difficult, like, and it's not ending because it's just beginning, and it's a struggle, and honestly, like, I keep going back and forth about different things in my mind, and I'm like, oh, I start to worry about things that I don't really need to worry about that much, and then it just gets super complicated, so... There's, like, me hoping that I'm not going to be, like, like, I don't want to lose faith in God. So I'm doing my best to hold on, and it's kind of difficult. But I'm hoping that I can get through. But everything's, like, Linked like spiritually, emotionally, physically, mentally, and everything is just linked. And like, I'm pretty emotional for a person, so like, I'm like up and down, up and down about different things. And yeah, the main thing that I'm kind of focused on is like how to treat other people, like, because. I'm trying to follow God in terms of like, okay, so God wants me to treat someone this way. Is this okay? And then when I get home and after I realize what I did, I'm kind of like, is that really what God wanted? Or is that what I felt in my heart? And I start to worry about that. And I just go back and forth. And the trust with God is kind of like, all over the place because like and like I trust you Lord and I'm always thinking I trust you God but then it's like where did the trust go like do I really trust him like I keep saying I trust him but at the end of the day I'm just like worried about different things and interactions with people stuff like that So yeah, everything's going like that. And yeah, don't know what else to say about it. It's a bit intense. Mm, what else? Um, yeah, so this drawing is actually in my more improved style, because I just improved it recently. Um, I drew another one of my friend. I think I did an outlining video of that one before. So yeah. And then I was like, let's do it of a few more friends and made a bit more.
So, who, what else? Not much to say today. I had this long conversation with my dad, but then I got emotional. And then I was on my bed, so I kind of like sat up, like crouching with my head on my knees. And I don't know, I felt really emotional, so then I started crying, but then I was like, I don't want to show my dad that I'm crying, so I kind of just hide my face. I don't know. It just didn't feel too good about the conversation, because it confused me even more, because my dad was, like, back and forth about it, and, like, (sighs) I just wish he made up his mind with how he felt about the situation, but... He was back and forth, so in the end, I was kind of like, don't really want to say anything. Because it made me more confused, genuinely, like, I'm already confused with life, and here we go. (laughs) Everything is, like, becoming more confusing, so yeah. Okay, so I'm done outlining my friend's head and hair. Now for her clothing. I think I just gave her like sweater. Yeah, so I just drew her a sweater. I don't know. I don't know what reference I was. Oh, yeah. So she was wearing like a baggy sweater type of thing. But then I didn't bother to draw in. A lot of the details so I just left it like that but, and she was wearing a shirt underneath so yeah and now for the eyes I drew my eyes differently I started drawing them a bit more detailed Sorry, the weird angles. Can't draw certain curves and certain angles. So I'm like, I'll do this, this, tilt the paper. The nostrils and now all I have to do is the mouth. Sorry, it's not focused completely. Okay. There. Didn't realize it was like not all the way focused. And where I'm outlining is the lip area. And then I'm just going to color in the eyebrows with the hair color that I'm going to do. Sorry. Oops. (sighs) So much to do. Okay. Here is the overview of my drawing. I know it looks like it doesn't have eyebrows because 
gonna color them those later. But yeah, it looks really cute. I would say the hardest part about this style is getting it to completely look like the person because I know I got the features from the eyebrows to the eyes to the mouth right it's and the face shape right. I think it's just because the cheek lines, I honestly don't draw cheek lines because like the lines near the that define the cheek a bit more. But the reason why I don't draw those is it makes people look older and my brother is like you gotta draw those in and I was like but it makes people look so old and then I tried to shade it on my friend um friends draw on my drawing of my other friend but it was like kind of doesn't look that great but you can kind of see the resemblance so yeah so hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Check down in the description box below. All my social media is there. All the process work for this drawing will be posted. And um, don't forget to check out my drawings playlist if you want to see all my other drawings. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye.